Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I had an epic day fishing on Alabama Gulf State Park Pier and I want to share that with y'all. I like to make these intros short, sweet, to the point. Let's get on the pier and go do some fishing. What is that? A remora? What was that? Yeah, that's a big remora, isn't it? You want my jig, remora? Come get. <laughs> Oh, we grabbed it. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Spanish uh, mackerel. First cast, Spanish mackerel. I'm over there playing with the remora, and then the old Spanish comes by. Boom. Yeah, first cast. He's got like a weird lesion on him. Look at that. Anybody want the Spanish? You want? You do? Okay. All right, y'all, just caught the Spanish on the first cast. It looks like something got after his tail at one point. That was weird. But I'm over there messing with the remora, and then I see a couple of these roll through. So just on that little half ounce white jig. But that was the first cast this morning. I'm back out trying to get redemption on some Jack Craval, but I'm gonna give this away to my buddy. So there you go, dude. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem, man. That's a very quick way to turn a white jig red, catch a bloody mackerel. Usually when you catch those, sometimes they'll hit your leader. This 50 pound fluorocarbon. See how it's frayed a little bit. I'm just going to cut that off and retie because I don't want to risk losing this jig next time. Uh uh. Yeah, because I, I only saw that one that was with that king behind of it. Yeah. That's how it starts, dog. And the king comes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. Oh, there he is. He got me. Oh, woo. Oh, oh he's right. What? Or what? No, no, circle. he's just going. Yeah, <laughs> Bonita circle. Listen to that real. Anybody got any oil? Oh, he's going the wrong way. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh. What the? Oh, what? my Christ. <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> oh, dude. That was epic. Okay, well, I'm going to resort to now. Walk. Oh yeah, I see him. He's staying deep. I have not spotted him yet, but I wish he could. I did. He came. Maybe he'll roam around and grab somebody. Come on, Sarah. I gotta let him. I gotta let him go. Got a king on, baby. <laughs> Listen to that drag on the crazy fish. Dad, gum. He's gonna go around the freaking octagon. Ah. Come back, cat food. The best thing you can do is run that way. On the crazy fish. See, there's no. If you can use it in a boat, you can use it on a pier. So many people have a bad stigma about them. That's where I want him to go. He's running straight southeast. Yeah. There we go. Let's see if he doesn't go around the pier. Is he under? He's got to be under, right? Yeah. I just don't want y'all to get sprayed. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, now we can see y'all are good. Oh, look at him. He just scod. You see that? Yeah, he just scod. I think a shark got him or he, he's, he's out running a shark. Free spool, free spool. That shark is destroying that fish right now. Man. All you can do is let him free spool. Those kings can outrun a shark if you don't put any pressure on them, but I think he just got destroyed. Well, that's what happened. The old sharky got mine, but luckily this guy can get his in. Look at that fish. Get him. Got him. Woo! <laughs> that's awesome. 
Beautiful fish. So I'm using some seven strand wire leader and this is 40 pound. And what we're gonna do, it's very easy. Just tie an overhand knot, just like that. Take some pliers, pull it tight. And then usually I'll do one more just to kind of lock it down. And then I cut the tag in. And then I do the same thing for the hook as well, which you could snail it too, okay. but on these, I just do a couple overhand knots. Drake's hooked up with a nice king. Drake right here, freaking whooping him. <laughs> what do you end up eating? Live Elwha. See if he can put a whooping to him. And all 706 getting things done. And this is what we get him up with, you know, one of these bridge or pier gaps once he gets close to the pier. He's bringing them in nice and steady. Get it to the pier, bud. As long as he doesn't go around that nub is what we call it. Should be good. There he is. Look at him. He's going to make that circle. <laughs> you tired? <laughs> no, he said not really. That's, that's what you want. You want him to come lay up. Going to get that gap on him. No. Oh, oh, oh. Drake, walk left, walk left. There you go. Hey, don't yank on don't yank on the gap. Just leave it right there. Don't yank on it. He'll come he'll come to it. Yeah, just let him swim into it. Let Drake control that fish and just leave it right there. And stick him. Boom! <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Your stick same time. <laughs> Got him. Good job, mate. <laughs> You got it ready? Check that out. Is that your first one on the pier? Dude. Watch out, your line's all up in Woo! Look at that, dude. How do you feel? You excited? <laughs> Pretty fish, man. Great job. All right, well, I'm going to take my sabiki rig again and see if I can find another bait fish. So that one I tossed out there and got bit on was actually an Atlantic bumper, or what I call crazy fish. But we're going to see if we can find us an LY, which they're under the pier. These Sibiki rigs you kind of just toss down where you think some bait may be and in this case we can see it and I just kind of wiggle it a little bit and usually they'll come on sometimes it can be take a little longer but come on L Y. there we go all right I got another bait Let's see if one yeah if one stays on there you can have them if you want all right fresh live bait Anybody need one? Yeah, if you can, whoever wants to take it off the hook. All right, let's hook this LY up. This is a live scale sardine. They're right here. Sometimes when that line gets wrapped around that gaff, you know, if you drop it down, that fish is still a little green. If you start going yanking on things, they'll pull that hook out. If that king actually wrapped around the line, they didn't start yanking on anything, and boom, that's what you want. Nothing. Nothing you could do. Yeah, that's a king right yeah. there. Oh, he's, come, oh, oh, he's oh. coming up. Come on. Come on, get you one. Wait. Woo! There's another one. There's another one out here. Got him. Hey, you got him, buddy. There, <laughs> there he goes. Look at that. <laughs> Look at him doing <laughs> Those things are so cool. Boom. Yes, that's where you want them to go. Voker. I'm going to let him go out, get away from this shark here. May, I hope so. Once he gets close, he's still really green. Ah. Ah. Oh, shoot. Oh, you're fine. Uh, the first one I did, yes, but this one was on an LY. I hope so. No, he's going back that way. I, I can get some line here. He's coming. Woo! Dad, gum, dude. 
<laughs> okay, he's right here, buddy. Get up here. <laughs> Come here. <sighs> no, this thing will bite through a net. Almost, almost. There we go. Barely. I'm going to take my line off the roller because in case that thing falls off the gaff, I'm not going to break your rod. And Drake right there with the awesome gaff. Got him. He did what you want him to do. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Check out them teeth. Awesome. Thank y'all. Dude, he shot the pier and my arm was getting tired reeling it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job, Stephen. Thank you, man. Nice. Just landed this beautiful king. Check that out. A little bit bigger than the one I landed last week. But uh, Drake over here, you saw his on camera, and then he was able to uh, return the favor and uh, gaff mine for me. So I appreciate it, brother. But check these out. These are king mackerel, fast fighting fish. They're incredibly fun. And check out them teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna end up giving this away. It's a lot of meat. It's still fun to catch nevertheless, and there's plenty of people on here that are willing to take them home and eat them. So check out that big old eye. <laughs> Woo, heck yeah. I did start out early in the morning throwing one of these half ounce bucktail jigs. This is just a half ounce spro. I'm not sponsored by them. It'd be pretty cool, but I'm not. But anyway, this is just a half ounce. It's a white jig. Works really good for our waters. And the leader material I'm using is just some 50 pound fluoro. Mono works just fine too in the 40 to 60 pound range. Just something fairly cheap and you have a lot of it because you will be going through leader when throwing after toothy critters like we do today. But I have that bucktail tied on about 20 inches of that 50 pound fluoro. And I'm not using a swivel. I tie a double uni knot. Now I was throwing this on a 5,000 Shimano with 20 pound braid and this is a seven foot medium heavy rod. I did later on switch to trying to catch some live bait with a sabiki rig. You can purchase these at most local tackle shops. All you do is tie one end to your line, clip a weight down to the bottom, jig these up and you can catch pretty much any type of live bait that you may need that's hanging around the pier. And it works well for other scenarios. I was throwing the sabiki rig on the toadfish combo, the carbon elite reel. This is a 3,000 20 pound braid and seven foot two inch medium heavy fast action. You just wanna make sure you bring an extra rod with you because you don't wanna have to keep on cutting off and tying on. You know, I like to have a dedicated bait rod. My main setup today that I was using was a king setup. I'll show you how to tie this when I get out there, but it's just a size four 4X strong treble hook, 40 pound seven strand wire, and a small black barrel swivel. This is a leader material I use. If you're comfortable using any other wire, feel free to. But usually I do pretty good with this. And the 40 pound test is thin enough to not be seen in clear water, but also strong enough to catch majority of the fish that we're gonna hook on the state park pier. If you get it and you don't wanna crimp it, just make sure you get that bare. See, it says bare stainless wire. Make sure you get bare, not the nylon coated. And that setup was a Vanstall 150, 30 pound braid and a nine foot Rain Shadow 1087 custom pure rod. Any 4,000 to 6,000 size reel will work. Any eight foot to nine foot rod will work for this technique as well. And I like that 30 pound braid, but you can also get by just fine with 16 pound mono or 20 pound mono. So that is the setups. I just wanted to show you all that. Yo, there was so much action today. That was awesome. Seeing all these fish come up and these are just big fish and be able to catch them from the pier. It's just a fun time. It's very exciting. I absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed it as well watching and we were able to share those experiences with you. It requires a lot of teamwork fishing a pier, especially one that's not complete all the way and still damaged. And it is a great thing everybody works together. It can seem and be chaotic at times, but that's just the joy of pier fishing. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you already are, you know I appreciate you as always. So it's awesome to see the channel grow like it is and allows you to keep up with some great content. And the fishing is definitely great down here in South Alabama. We'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.